Did I get scammed? One day I was randomly going through my Instagram and I got this message. I'm a Wolf season ticket holder. They are selling authentic runs of the City Edition jersey. Hit me up if you want me to grab one. At this point, I've already given up trying to find the Aunt Edward City Edition authentic run. I just figured that Nike would not release it. Oh well. But I didn't even know if this was even legit at all. I was really desperate and I was like, this might be the only opportunity that I can ever find one. Disclaimer, don't do what I do. I'm a crazy risk taker. Only take risk if you're willing willing to lose whatever you're risking. Guess what I did? What's crazier is that they do not have PayPal. I have to make a decision. It's either yes or no. Do I trust this? I feel like I do a good job in judging character. I looked at the person's profile and I was like, seems like a nice person. They didn't give me any bad vibes. So I was like, screw it. How do you want your game? The person ended up saying Venmo and basically wire him some money. So for the best, there's no protection for me here. In today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know if I got scammed or not. All right, so I just got the package in person sent it out to me. Let me go ahead and pre-cut this and we will see together. I don't want them to see that person's address. Or maybe I do. Maybe if they sent me a dud, we could send him some stuff that he doesn't want. Just kidding. Here we go. Ooh, we got the bag. Dude. Cause I want to thank you personally and you know who you are because I don't want people blowing you up and, and bombarding you with this stuff. You are super nice for doing this for me. You won't even know how much I appreciate this. This is crazy. Just having someone randomly follow me on YouTube and just, hey, I can get it for you. Like, and it's crazy. I'm speechless. I, I, I just can't believe it. I appreciate you guys so much more than you guys will ever know, everybody all the support it is ridiculous having people support me that i don't even know i've never met a person and just been super nice to me i can't believe it i don't expect these things it is cr you see i can't even like i'm so like man this is so cool like basically big thank you for the person who brought this to me and thank you everybody for always uh, holding it down for me and always support but let's get to the jersey because i'm getting too mushy dude Dude, look at this. Edwards on the back, number five, the authentic run. Dang, that water design looks so much cleaner. Look at this, the aura patch. Look at this, Minnesota in the front. Let's check out the details. Dude, this is beautiful. Holy crap. So start off with the collar, you can see white polyester, nice and clean. You got the shoulder area, white arm openings, white trim, you got the Jerry West logo, you can see right there. Rubberized, heat pressed. Let's go to the Jersey base. So it's like land of a thousand lakes because it's in Minnesota. Artist from Minnesota designed this and it looks super clean. Holy crap, look at this. Ah, oh, dude. I thought the swing man was beautiful, but man, seeing this in person, like opposed to being on TV, beautiful. Then we got Edwards, you can see right there, single stitched. I feel like the spacing is just a little tight, but let me see if this is what was a custom run. We can tell by the stitching. You can see right here, number five. You can see where the holes are on the twill, double stitched, beautiful. That is sick. Then we go down here, we got dry fit advanced. You got some side split action. And then on the side trim, you have thousand lakes, land of a 10,000. I keep saying thousand, but that runs on a separate polyester piece. And then on that side as well, on the left, pretty much the same. Dang, I cannot wait to wear this. Dude, I am in awe. So. Collar, pretty much the same style, round it off. Arm openings, you got the same thing. Then you have the Nike swoosh. You can see right there, that kind of like navy blue. Single stitched. You got the neck label area. Your boy is a medium now. And let's see, the tags, 299, 300. Crazy for a team store. Then you got the Aura patch. And what's nice about it, they use a twill material. And then you got that Aura printed onto it, single stitched not heat press so that's always a good thing you got minnesota in the front beautiful design on the base then you have whew, look at that single stitched you have that white twill but you have that blue stitching 
which makes it pop. I mess with this heavy. Then you have the number five, you can see right here, smaller five. You got it single stitched. You see where the twill is ventilated. Beautiful base in the background. I keep catching myself filming this. Then we go down to the jock tag. Authentic Ren City Edition 44 year, normal ones. Then you got Land of 10,000 Lakes. So that's heat pressed on, which is nice. Got some side splits. Just look at that base. And that is the front of the jersey. So flipping it inside out, you could tell that it is a custom run. So that means they had basically the blank base. So Minnesota, just kind of look at the stitching. Kind of looks nice and clean. No like papers on it. But when you go right here, you can see the layer of paper that's in between the stitching. So they just stitched down the five. And then when we flip it out right here, you can see they still have the paper material, which is not bad. I've seen some other team stores leave like heavy residue. So, but you could tell this one's customized, which is still clean. I am not gonna throw on this jersey. Psych, this is too beautiful not to throw this on. Holy crap. First off, thank you again. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This has to be my favorite city edition jersey this year, just because I'm biased. I like the colorway and then Ant Edwards is a beast. But man, I mess with it heavy with the sponsor patch because they actually blend it in. It actually looks nice. Fills up some space right here. Beautiful water design about the 10,000 lakes. <laughs> I could not believe I have this in hand. I, dude, you guys are all awesome. I love the gradient change when it comes to the jersey. You have white up in the shoulder area and then you have the design. Then it goes to a solid blue. That's always sick. The side trim. 10,000 lakes, I thought that was a cool idea. And then having it on the back as well. <sighs> but what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's beautiful. I'm so happy for this and <sighs> man, I'm just, thank you, thank you, thank you. And like I said earlier in the video, don't do what I do. That was a little crazy. Like buying and doing a transaction without any protection for myself with someone I don't know, It. It's not something I always recommend because there's always gonna be good people, but there's also on the opposite side of the spectrum, it's gonna be bad people who are trying to scam you. So I would say always stay with the safer route if you can get buyer protection just so you don't get scammed and there has to be like physical proof of like things getting delivered and stuff like that. So always protect yourself. I went with a crazy route just because I was thinking, hey, it might work out or I could make it a very expensive lesson so other people can learn from me. So don't do what I did. Definitely, unless you actually like trust the person or someone can vouch for them or many people can vouch for that person, then maybe you do the ones without seller protection so no one gets upcharged with fees. But I highly do not recommend you doing these things unless you are willing to lose it because it could have easily gone the other way where that person just was like, no, I'm not sending you nothing. You just sent me money and we're good. Just a fair warning, guys. Peace.